Hey guys, Grassman here. Um, so, I so first off, first things first, we are going to get in the game in, in about into the game in about two or three minutes. I gotta, um, I'm just gonna talk about whatever first. So, um, first off, I know this video is coming late. I'm recording this starting at like eight forty. Um, because I just got home, so we weren't out for as long as I thought. Um, I did have the two videos ready, but I only put them in th in like the morning slots. So. Yesterday I missed the afternoon video, and this video is coming late, and that's all. That's all. That's all that's happening. Um, so, yeah, that's why this video is coming late, and that's and I was out for less less time than I thought. So missed one video. Oh well, and the two were short. Two, the two others were shorter, but doesn't matter too much. So now we're gonna try this. Um, hang on a sec, because someone actually told me how to get the fifty-five. It was something like uh, you have to go through it with you have to go through this thing with five, and then come back through after. So I just have to figure out how this. I have to figure out what the exact number is. Okay, so it's. So delete this. Shoot, did I? Okay, it saved. I was worried this was gonna put me back. Cause didn't, I forgot to like actually do the backup save. Where's like where's the backup save thing? Save backup. There. So we have to go. Plus one, times two, plus one is five, I ignore that. Enter this, times ten, Now we don't get a lot of space. Okay, plus one times two plus one is five. What the hell? Okay, hang on. So does this fit? Does this not fit then? Because we ran out of space the times ten. So I don't think that actually fits. Okay. What was the rest of the challenge? Challenge. Maximum damage of exactly fifty-five. Total shots fired a multiple of five, and clear mission twenty-two. Okay, this one. <laughs> hmm. One, two, one, enter this thing. And then time ten times ten there. Okay, so that's the right damage, and now we have one, two, three, four, five open spots. Extra bullet AoE, extra bullet AoE, and a pierce. No point in having more pierce than that. Okay, so it's a maximum damage of 55. So maybe. Okay, well, this should hopefully work. 4% less total damage. Is that gonna be a problem? Probably. Oh, okay, I just broke through. Oh my god. Oh, okay, I didn't realize it'd be so weak. Wait a minute. Challenge mode on. 
Oh, right. oh shit, right, they're not that weak. Okay, they're still weak enough. So I want to give him time to stack up a lot of damage, because these ones have a lot of health. It is clear, not just beat. Oh yeah, this definitely ain't doing enough. Not quite. Lowest was 6. Highest was 30. Highest was 30? Why would it be 30? Plus 1, plus 1 is 3 times 10. But then it would still have to go through the plus 5. No. So hang on, assuming everything triggers... Is it just luck, then? It was the 4% less that did it. If I can't have AoE, what do I do? Because the math works, math checks out, but I have to have at least one AoE thing. 4% less of 55 is what? How much do I have to add to hit 55? Or can I just not really have AoE? If I cut these out, I'm just doing, like, extra bullets. Unless, it doesn't say any, it doesn't, like, specify against legendary items, right? I don't have legendaries unlocked, though. Hmm. Even if I did, I don't have money to buy them. Well, um... Guess we'll try this. Yeah, yeah, but without the AoE, it's just not doing anywhere near enough. Hmm. Here I'm only like, I'm not even gonna beat the first one. Highest projectile damage, 55. There we go, we got it. Um, we just need to do better now. What if we do one AoE and one damage? It's not doing enough. I need a higher fire rate. Or more bullets. How much health do these blocks have? That was a high damage shot, so we'll be, we know that was the times 10. 54k, so not quite high enough. Hmm. What if I go... So here, how many straights do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If I go... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... God, what do I do? I have no... I don't know. I can get the damage, but how are you supposed to break through those blue ones? It's clear the mission. Total shots fired a multiple of five. Is that like giving me a hint or something? What do I do? Because this almost looks like the intended way. It per it perfectly hits 55 damage, and I'm actually shooting 5 bullets every time, so I'll almost always hit that 5 thing multiplication. Problem is, problem is it doesn't do anywhere near enough damage. 
I would have to add. I would have to add an AOE and two damage. I'd have to get two extra spots open. So it's because normally I'm on. I know what to do. Highest has to be. It has to be fifty-five. But the lowest currently is hitting like 6 almost all the time. It's almost always hitting 6 here. We have to multiply it better. So it's almost always hitting 6. We need to add damage instead of multiplying. Let me try and make a ship that does that. Okay. I think what I need is a legendary piece. One of the legendary pieces, I believe, gives you damage based on how much space you had open. That could get us close to 55, like the amount of open empty spaces on your ship. So that could get us close to 55. We could find a way to get there and then have the extra bit. That means, though, we have to unlock some of those pieces. Okay, this one's doable. Um, put on the right captain. Ah, uh, this is the wrong sh <laughs> Um, that was not the right ship for that. It doesn't keep Praxima on, does it? It does. Even though I'm in no way doing any sort of challenge thing. So I have to get the damage to be more consistent. So once I beat this one, we'll see if any of the legend... If, the, if there's... Because I don't know when I unlock that one legendary panel, but I know there's a legendary panel that gives you damage based on, like, empty squares you have. And it's, like, plus 10 damage for each empty square. So because this one doesn't specify legendary panels... It might be a you need legendary things to complete this one. I don't know if there's gonna be a uh and there's probably a way to beat it without legendary panels. But there might not be, and if there is, I have no idea what it is. There we go. It's a 40G, nice. Um Okay, so adds ten percent of the highest reached tier in the world map as damage. Oh shit. My highest reach tier is 500. This would add 50. If I add, if I can add 5 onto this, that's 55 right there. Oh, and these are just Gs. I thought these were going to be... Oh, no, they cost both. It's squares and Gs, so I need to farm squares. I need to farm squares without going any further up. Then I get my 500, and that's all I need. Increase projectile size and doubles damage. Okay, this one's a doubler. This one's just a proper doubler. Okay. Double damage in the last 0.4 seconds of the projectile's lifetime. Uh. Why is that helpful? Increases projectile size and doubles damage. Double damage in the last 0.4 seconds of the projectile's lifetime. Why only in the last bit of the lifetime? That just seems flat out worse. Adds 10% more damage for each unused tile in ship. 10% more damage. Okay, so that, even if we, like... So that doesn't help. Unless... So what's that one look like? It's got, like, four things surrounded by snakes. Legendary items count as unused tiles. Direction guides count as unused tile. Okay, well. So what do we do here, then? A um, I think we need this one. So I need to farm 500 of these, and then unlock this, and then that's what we need to do. So I have to farm it to 500, buy this, and then put this in the ship, because it doesn't say specify no legendary items. This will only work up to a certain point, and I don't know what I'm going to do after tier 500. Because supposedly, if I went to like 600, I'd be doing 60 damage, and that's too much. So, there's got to be an easier solution. And I don't think it can, it can involve times 10. You know, if I'm doing consistent 50 damage, like just enough of the doublers would probably work. Because if I'm doing consistent 55 damage, enough of these would probably just work anyway. Right? 
Because I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way, like, because I can beat it using this. I'm trying to figure out how anyone can beat it. If you're higher, if you're too high to use this, this thing, the doubling, if you add, like, five, so if you add, if you add up to five, so you're doing five, you double to, to ten, double to twenty, double to forty, and then, no, what's better? Three? Um, what would be best? If you went to four, double to eight, double to sixteen, double to thirty-two, double to sixty-four, that's too high. If you went three, six, if you went three, six, twelve, twenty-four, forty-eight, and then just added seven, somehow. That would give you enough. However, you would add seven. That would give you fifty-five consistently without the randomness, and that's what you need. So I think I think that's what we need to do. I need, you need the doublers for the legendary bit. At least that seems like the best way. Other, unless you want to get like try and have to get super lucky with the times tens, because otherwise you're just not doing enough damage. Your highest will be fifty-five, but then your lowest is way too low. Because your lowest would only be six, which just isn't enough damage for that. That. So I think you have to use either the, the, the I can I can abuse this one, but normally you would want to use the doublers. So I'm gonna have to farm some yellow squares off camera. Um, but now we know how to do this one. So, we, so the times tens won't work because it's too inconsistent. You get too low damage. But the times twos, so we're consistently doing fifty-five, should give enough to punch through, even without AOE. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys have the ability to afford this, feel free to try it out. Let me know how it went in the comments. I'll farm the yellow squares up at some point, and then I'll then we'll try and finish this honor one. Get other. I think we're only the one quest away from the sword. Yeah. So we'll try and finish that up, and then we'll go on to insanity after that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, if you enjoy my content, be free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.